So let's introduce Shanine Allen. constitutional right to, to bear arms, yeah. to protect me and my children. I got robbed twice last year going to work. I'm glad my kids was not with me in the same month. That's why I went to go get my license to carry. For you. I didn't get a firearm right after, but when I got robbed, that's when I purchased it. Five days after I had my firearm on me, I got arrested in Jersey. That's when it happened. Wow. I didn't even fire a firearm. Brand new firearm. <laughs> and I've been going through a legal battle, and I, thanks to the pressure of everyone nationwide, I got pardoned by Governor Christie. <laughs> I, am, I now have to prove myself to the state of Philadelphia. I have trial next week to go to court for my license to carry back. I have to go through an appeal like a regular person. And I got a pardon. But I have to wait to get something that I originally had, and now that I'm pardoned, it should be just given to me straight yep. directly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just like he signed it, I should have got it directly. Right. I'm walking yeah. around now with no firearm to protect myself or my children. My, meanwhile, my, my story is national, and everyone knows where I live. I live in South Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I move. It's not a good area, you know, but we don't play, but it's we're a bad area. And I take my kids to Jersey. Of where what general going? area? Because we're from South Philadelphia. Grace Ferry. Okay. I'm, I'm at the right. right part, but it's not that great right. at all. Yeah. It's cops in front of my child's school every day, and he's mm -hmm. only four. He's in pre-K. Mm -hmm. They're across the street from my house, just waiting. And I'm just, I'm just glad and I want to thank everyone who supported me and I continue to keep on pushing this fight so we can get national reciprocity. Yep. And yeah. I encourage anyone to support national And I, I, I hope they change these laws in New Jersey. Anywhere, everywhere. Just change them and I mean, we're being victims and we are law-abiding citizens. This is our constitution right as Americans. I don't understand it. I still don't, but I'm going to fight for others and myself still because I'm still going to court. This is the reason I seize my, my things, which belong to me, a year later. So I thank you. Any questions? 
They still have the firearm. Are you able to get it back if you're clear in Philadelphia? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. They have not answered that question for me yet. Did you, did you have to agree not to sue New Jersey when you got a pardon? No. Go for it. Right. That's what they understand. Yeah. I'm sure that uh, Joshua Prince would love to talk with you. Yeah. Yeah. Joshua Prince. Joshua Prince. If you need his card, I have Definitely. Point. So if you're pardoned, are you exonerated in funds or how does that work? Do you still have a record for them both? Well, I was, when I, when the pressure was put on New Jersey, I got on PTI, which is a pretrial intervention program. Right. Um, when I got put on uh, PTI, I was on PTI for six months and it was eventually supposed to hold out for a year. Uh, when Governor Christie pardoned me, it basically cleared the PTI, with, which uh, stopped me from having to report to a probation officer right. and call back and forth to Jersey and say, oh, I didn't have police contact or I'm not in trouble. That, that stopped that, and I had to get the expungement on my own. Exactly. So that's what we're waiting for now. That's, that's an what expungement. A, that's what a pardon is. They just you have to just follow through. Yeah, follow through and just make sure they do their job, which they're taking too long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too long. They didn't hesitate to arrest you, though, did they? Do you have to pay for all this yourself? It's coming out of your pocket. Some of it, yes. And I'm pushing. I'm still pushing and making sure that my attorney. Um, from New Jersey, have nothing happened. He's taking care of it, and but I'm calling and making sure that things get done because I don't see why I had to call Philadelphia to, to ask for my my license to carry that. Right. Uh, Charles Ramsey. Is he a Second Amendment attorney? The one you have? In yes. Okay. Yes. His name is Evan Nathanabin. Shanine, do you want to give him your website? Yes. Yes. I, I do. I have a new website up. Uh, ShaneneAllen.org. I do have business cards here. I'll place them in the back for anyone that can just help me with shedding light. Because I'm now I, I want to be an activist because yep. I love speaking about it and more people should know about it. And a lot of people in my neighborhood are not licensed to carry, of course. Right. But I am. And I'm yeah. proud of American democracy. <laughs> criminals, they need to focus on them and stop coming after people like me and Brian Akins and Stefan Josie and Brett Dunphy that's going through this all over the nation. It's people in jail right now that are going through it. Brett Dunphy happens to be homeless right now. Yes, he is. He's out of Atlanta City. Yes, he, he is. He got charged for the same thing as Shanine. But yes. I think he had a BB gun. He had a BB gun. Wow. What? He's out of his car right now and needs help. Just spoke with him last night and he's in his car and no one will contact him. And I think it's the big issue that they're making is because he's, he has a disability, but what? That would make him, you know, want to help him even more. Yeah. I understand. But he's going through trial right now. What I've been through, I was, I was about to go to jail for 12 years. What? what? 12 years. Minimum is three and a half. What? Minimum yeah. is three and a half. And I didn't take any deal. Good. Good. Yeah. I'm very familiar with Grace Ferry. Yeah. Okay. I had my gun in my truck that day. I was assaulted by five people. Now my gun is on my hip. When you get all done with it, okay, move to Montgomery County. <laughs> it's twenty dollars for a permit. It takes less than five minutes. Yeah, yeah. And you can arm up. You can have butt pistols all over you. <laughs> we need more, more in our county, right? Yeah. Right. What was your website again? Um, www.shaneenallen.org. It's my name. Dot org. Allen. Yes, Shaneen Allen. A L L E N. S H A N E E N. A L L E N. That word. Yes. So if anyone has any kind of shows and any kind of events, I would love to come and learn more because. You know. I'm, yes, and I'm, I'm a citizen and I'm speaking now. I'm not quiet. Yeah. <laughs> It shows you how powerful our voices is, just as one coming together 
everyone caught up. They was in Jersey not rioting, but they was doing it the right way. They was making sure that I was not going to go to jail. It was the people. It was everyone. Everybody it united. Was the residents in New Jersey, Texas, everywhere. They contact me every day, tell me their blessings. And it I still can't believe it that I am pardoned. I still can't because being in jail that long and not even being nowhere near that lifestyle. I took my kids to New Jersey every day just to get out of where I'm at. So to not to be scared to go back there again is the worst feeling in the world. Mm -hmm. I've, I've not been there yet. Good. Wow. <laughs> Smart. But uh, I don't want them to stop me from going there. That's, right. This about five minutes across the bridge from where I'm at. We go right over to Ben Franklin Bridge. It's right there. Yep. I, think, I don't want them to stop me from going there just because uh, I had to separate my firearm. I didn't know they had to separate in a certain way and do all these things. How, if, if I'm driving in my vehicle and someone comes in want to shoot me in their car, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. The gun is under the, 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 the seat and the, 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 the clip is in the trunk and everything is separated. What's the purpose of carrying? We need okay. a national carry. National rep press. Yes. Yes. And yes. there for a reason. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to shed light on everyone and anyone that needs yeah. to put this out there. But once my life was almost taken away from me twice in the same month, change your heart. And that was my right. Because I could have been done. And if my kids was with me, they would have been done. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pray almost because I don't want to pick too much on myself, but I, I, I hold myself up high and I take care of myself and I have my children. And men come at me all the time, creepy, all types of crazy people. They don't have their mind right, yeah. and I have to make sure that I'm protecting myself and my children. Absolutely. Please check out my website. It's more. I, I need to get this out more. I know it's national and everything, but there is still a certain percentage of people that do not know me and Brett and what we've been through and how you can go through it just by going across the bridge. You still can go through it. Go across the bridge and take and go ahead and just say, oh, I'm going to go. I don't think you're going to catch me. They're looking at your plate, uh, your taxes, and pulling you over for no reason. They said they pulled me over for a failure to maintain my lane, which I don't understand what that means. Because it was <laughs> one in the morning, and I was in the middle lane, and I'm far-sided. So if I'm too close over here, that's why I always stay in the middle lane. So I just I just went along with it and just let him know that I had on me because I, I'm not a threat. Right. I wasn't a threat, and I thought it was okay. You were doing it right. Yeah. Right. right. I didn't. I wasn't a criminal. Criminal would have. Oh no, they know the laws because they've been in trouble more sure. over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah. sure. I didn't know. I never got pulled over before. So you were asked if you had a gun, or you just forwarded? The I forwarded it to him. I let him know. He wouldn't have had a reason to ask me because he just pulled me over. Wow. But why did you feel know. compelled to tell him? Because oh, because I had my purse on my lap. And he was like this with a flashlight one in the morning, and he would have saw it sticking out. Oh. I didn't want him to think I was a threat. Right, right, right. Right. The way he looked at that time, I knew. It's just, I felt it. It was like, let him know. And I was told. I was told to tell police personnel that when you get pulled over, you tell police personnel you have your, your, your firearm on you. I was told that. That's the right thing. When did you get your partner? No, I got my partner in April 2nd. It depends on the state. It depends on the state. So do you, if I could, just um, following up on your comment, I live in Philadelphia as well, and I've been wondering, I followed your story, and I, I've been wondering if you didn't feel like you had the obligation to tell the officer that you had your firearm, because in the letter that we get from Police Commissioner Ramsey, when we get the permit, the LTCF in Philadelphia, yeah. It says that we have to tell the officer, even though that's not the law. It's not. Right. Um, it's not the even law. though that carries no weight, um, there's a list of stipulations that they give us, which we have to actually sign, even though that's also meaningless as far as I know. And I was wondering if that, if that led to, or if that contributed to, to your uh, belief that you had the duty to inform. Well, what contributed was actually 
how he wore his persona when he was there, how it was, and because of when I went to go get my firearm, when I was there, that's what she told me, the police officer who, who interviewed me. That's what she told me. At the gun permit unit? Say again? At the gun permit unit? Yes. When you went where, to get yes, your license? Where I went to get my you? license down Knife and Spring Garden, right. the interviewer told me that. Right. To tell police personnel, the first thing you do when you get in your car, tell police personnel, if you get pulled over, that you have your firearm on you. And that, that was, was the first thing on my mind. That was April 2014? That happened October 1st, 2013. Okay. Wow. I was waiting for my PTI application to be approved. It got approved, but the prosecutor denied it. He said, I don't want her to have any loopholes. No reason to. Uh, Shanine, yes. if you don't mind, we just have yes. two more questions on yes. because we yeah, have to move on. I'd love to have you speak all night. All right. <laughs> Shanine, yes. it's, uh, it's my understanding that right now, you do not have any official uh, donation uh, place or uh, outlet. My website. And, and that, uh, is there one? My website, yes. It's, uh, uh, I, 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 I thought Shanine. I heard I'm that there are some people out on GoFundMe mm -hmm. yeah. who That's have not. names. You're doing it in your name, but that you're not getting any of that money. And not is, is that right? any money. Yeah. Wow. I'm not receiving any money. What? I have my own website now. So for the people who are in this room who are interested in helping you, they need to just be careful that they're not going to go fund me Don't and go put any fund money me. there. Don't go to go get funding. That, there that, are people there out are there that are using my name and are receiving yes, and receiving my name. Using your picture so. They're using my picture and they're using oh. my name. So that's why I have my things in my name. Another good so lawsuit. It's my, my own domain. Another good lawsuit. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> For everybody that's interested, of course, I'll send out her information to let them help her out. Yeah. Thank yeah, there's, you. Know, she every crossed over New Jersey. You know, she's an American. You think, right. how could another state, you know, uh, disregard our Second Amendment rights? You know, it's, I call it's it the New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. And it's just a shame. You know, we need to get this word out and hurt. So this is the And we need to appeal to the unconstitutional law. Thank you. Right now, I had to come here. I wanted to thank you all. I love speaking. And me and my kids are in the dark right now. So I would definitely be at that Pico. We've been out license, of license Monday. So uh, I would definitely be there. Wait, they turned you off? Yes. Because of the because you didn't want a smart meter? Yes. I'm in the dark right now. So I will be there. I'm very interested to hear that. Talk to Barbara about that. Yeah, talk to Barbara. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. But thank you all so much, and you all have a safe trip back home.